Before we get into this video, please make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. I know a lot of people get unsubscribed. I know a lot of people watch that aren't subscribed. Please consider joining. I do videos every single day over here. Also on my vlog channel, which is linked down below, but whatever's your favorite, whatever floats your boat. I would really appreciate you joining the Mucker Squad. Um, so yeah, go hit that button. That was very professional of me. Anyway, on with the video, what you're here for. <laughs> Hi, muckers! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and welcome back to the second video that I am uploading today. I have just ate an absurd amount of this fucking cheese spray <laughs> that I feel like my throat is closing up, so please be patient with me. Please be patient with me. It's so bad, but I just can't stop, like... <laughs> it's good. It's not good. It's not good, but it's just fun. It's, it's American. It's American. <laughs> anyway, we are going to be talking about... Okay, so we have not had an update on what has been happening between Brittany Broski and Sarah Shire, and I thought we had made the last video, but of course there is drama with this live show that is happening, and there's just... It's basically not slowed down. So, in my last video about this, I talked about the reason for the end of violating community guidelines, which is that Brittany Broski got an offer to create her own show that was the equivalent of Hot Ones or uh, Chip Shop, like dating or something like that, or Chicken Shop, um, where basically you're interviewing celebrities, but you're doing something that's basically informal. Oh, I can just see myself in the mirror. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. You can see my bad posture. Okay. Pretend I'm sitting like this the entire... <laughs> anyway, um, so it, it's she's going to have her own show where you're interviewing a celebrity in a very informal setting because you're doing something else like eating chicken and, you know, some random shit like that. And it's going to be really good and really exciting because Britney has amazing connections in the celebrity world now and Britney's very personable and very likable and she's kind of made that Emma Chamberlain jump into mainstream media but obviously Emma went into modeling and kind of left YouTube and we're seeing Britney kind of stay on YouTube, but just using more, you know what I mean? Like TV now. And then this obviously had repercussions for the, the podcast with Sarah Shire, the violating community guidelines. And Sarah was posting many things that were alluding to the fact that she wasn't even, or they weren't even hiding the fact that they were unhappy with the ending of the podcast, that it wasn't their decision. They didn't want it, you know, to end that way. And they would have continued filming them, but it was out of their control. And in, in a couple of weeks, we'll know the truth. And maybe that was just the thing with Britney. But anyway, the worst thing about all of this is that they, they publicly not said anything about each other, but... Sarah is, you know, they're writing all these shady posts and Britney is, you know, being completely silent except for on H3 whenever even she didn't mention the I'm actually gonna move this over because I really hate seeing myself in the mirror like I'm I don't want you to see my hunchback I don't want you to see my hunchback um, you know Britney didn't address the fact that violating community guidelines was ending, but did address that she has this new, very exciting opportunity. Now, Britney mentioned that the show is being filmed directly out of her guest bedroom in her house, and a lot of people were saying how that house in question is the one that her and Sarah just bought together and moved in together, and Sarah has posted on Instagram within the past few days my new room and it was like transforming before and after in this new room so there's not so much speculation that sarah and britney are on bad terms as friends because apparently sarah has now moved out of the house allegedly and britney is now filming the new show from this bedroom and in there it's 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 really fucking weird but the main reason i'm making another video is because there are so many more opinions on it because things are getting weirder and weirder today the 15th of December, well, it's actually the 16th now because it's midnight. The 15th of December in LA is the show, which is, you know, happening at Bria Improv. And it's a violating community guidelines live show between Britney and Sarah where they both have to sit on stage and do the podcast. But now we know the podcast has ended. And I'm like, from a management point of view, why didn't you announce that it was the podcast was coming to an end? after this fucking show because it's so awkward and the meet and greet has been cancelled. It's been flat out cancelled and so many things about the show are getting cancelled in between but the show's still happening. It's like, it's so fucking messy that apparently Britney and Sarah are, are on bad terms as friends and they're now going on stage and have to be best friends like they were on violating community guidelines and again, I'm not even blaming the fans for speculating all this because, I'm sorry, but Sarah's really feeding it and the fans are picking up on it. And that's not the fans' responsibility. Sorry, that's Sarah's responsibility. Now, 
we're gonna get to all of this. So on the violating community guidelines Reddit, we have a lot to get through, so buckle up, buggery. I've said that in my previous two videos. I hate that. So the meet and greet for the show today got canceled yesterday, so on the 14th, and it says event update. <clears throat> Cheese is starting to come back up again. Violating community guidelines at Bria Improv on Thursday, December 15th at 8 p.m. So actually, what time is it right now? Oh, the show is happening right now as we are filming. It, it could actually be over. It's 9.20 right now over there. So <clears throat> the following is a message from TicketWeb. Violating community guidelines with Brittany Broski and Sarah Shire. Um, order confirmation number. The meet and greet has been canceled for Thursday's violating community guidelines show. Your VIP tickets will be refunded at the box office before the show. And our staff will help guide you in purchasing tickets for general admission. Thank you for choosing TicketWeb. So this is really bad because... If you have a meet and greet VIP ticket, you basically don't have a ticket anymore. And they're they're like, we'll guide you into buying a general admission ticket. So the show just seems so last minute like put and I. But a lot of people on this Reddit are saying like what Sorry Pies is saying. To be honest, they probably just don't want to open up the opportunity for questions about it since Sarah is making it clear that they can't say anything yet, which is a great point. The meet and greet is Sarah and Brittany sit on a on a table and the fans come up, talk to them, take pictures in the middle and go and they ask questions, they get things signed. So I completely understand that where Sarah and Brittany probably don't want to, you know, be at, uh, in a situation where a fan can say, what is the truth? And then what are they going to say? They, they would have to lie because they, apparently contractually we're not getting the truth anyway. But it's just <clears throat> so fucking weird. But here's the thing. There's so many people on this Reddit being like, I will let you know how the show goes. But realistically, this show is going to be so fake. So fake. Because they both aren't seemingly liking each other right now. And that's not a drag. That's not a... That's not even just heavy speculation. That's going off of what Sarah are, you know, are posting on their Instagram. And then Brittany doing the show in the new bedroom, not addressing violating community guidelines. Your meet and greet now being cancelled. Your fans being refunded for the show less than 12 hours before the, the show. It's like so fucking weird. People are saying they should have done this a couple days earlier. Now fans are scrambling to get a general admission for the show. And it's like, it's just really fucking bad. So another post said that um, I DM'd Sarah and she confirmed that the show is still happening tonight. It is. This will be the last time that we will perform together is what Sarah has said allegedly to this fan in the DMs. I asked because I'm one of the probably many coming from out of state who bought tickets ages ago and, you know, I'm going to be fl flying in. That cheese is really, I don't know how y'all eat that. And even though I just did. But yeah, this is like incredibly bad that Sarah is now allegedly telling fans in DMs, yeah, well, this is going to be the last time we're performing together. And it's like, if you told me a month ago that this is where we were going to be at with... Brittany Broski and Sarah Shire, I would have never believed you. <clears throat> so, there's a lot of people selling their tickets for the show because they don't even want to be there for the uncomfortable, awkward vibes. Um, so, I want to go through a couple of these posts because it's, it's really, really, really interesting. So, someone said, um, so where are we at now? I'm thinking they might have tension, but it will be over soon. I hope, because of the show. Still Rumi, still doing the Bria show. Probably will make some videos together in the future. Curious about why everything is so hush-hush between them. It literally does seem to me like a legal situation going on now. Not like we're entitled to anything, but I thought the rumors would be addressed by now. The main issue seems to be with Britney and the production company, her new project. What do y'all think? And here's my thing before we get to the responses on this. I would feel so awkward as an audience member knowing like what I know and watching them on stage probably not address it. It's gonna be awkward as an audience member and it's like how do you even like address that and if they do address it like what I'm saying is it just is gonna seem so weird that they've ignored it up until this moment and you're choosing a live show like it's so fucking weird. Um, so someone said, the, the the show on the 15th is still happening, so I think we'll be able to get more of a vibe about any possible tension at that point. But it is still odd that neither of them have been like, hey guys, we're all good, you can stop worrying, or like starting drama, lol. Like, I get not revealing anything, but new projects, um, you know, come around, but a quick we're good seems like this would, you know, be allowed. Like, they would be allowed to be like, we're all good. So... It's just a lot of people are saying, I think Britney is waiting until there's an official announcement for her show before they clear the air about VCG. It makes the most sense to me that, you know, she wasn't contractually allowed to have a show separate from the studio, so they had to end it abruptly so she could pursue the new project. And Sarah and Kendall are taking over their studio contract, which I think is probably 
the the most likely because Sarah is just immediately going on to you know a new show. It's gonna be them and Kendall. My Fiji water is over here. So like that's what I imagine is gonna be happening. I could have done this in a much more comfortable way. I don't know why I just leaned back like that. It was very silly Billy of me. So yeah, I think that's what it is. And I have been seeing a lot of people be like, it seems that Britney exited VCG in like a shady way. And a lot of people now are kind of taking Sarah's side with it. And here's what's gonna happen. People are gonna take Britney's side. Then they're gonna take Sarah's side. Then they're gonna take Britney's side. Back to Sarah again, then Britney. Because when you're not directly addressing it, people are gonna continue speculating and their speculation is gonna change by the day. And a lot of people now are siding with Sarah because people are like, oh, Sarah's actually completely right for what they're posting on their things because it, it links up with Britney announcing a new show and not talking about the end of VCG. And it seems that Britney has dumped Sarah for another project, which is fine, but it's not if there's contracts involved and, you know, they hadn't previously talked about it. And there's just, that's what's going to happen if they don't address it. So if they don't address it at the show tonight, there's definitely something very wrong with their relationship. And I would imagine that their friendship is on rocky roads if they do not address it at the show tonight. I'm telling you that for a fact. It doesn't make sense for them not to, if they make jokes about it, I don't think that's sense. I mean, properly address it at the show tonight then I think that there's probably some, that could be one of the last times we ever see Britney and Sarah together for a few years. And I love Britney, I love Sarah, it only makes sense. You've been through a friendship fallout before, that's what this seems. Add money into that? The amount of money Sarah's gonna lose because of Britney? Like, so. Someone said, I agree with you. I think it will all blow over very soon. They just got a house together, so I suppose, um, you know, it'll have to. That being said, Sarah has, you know, reposted an award nomination for VCG on their Instagram story, and Britney didn't. My little reptile brain wants to chalk this up to be supposed beef, but realistically, I assume it's because Studio 71 is the original kind that posted it, and it seems like Britney now has issues with them. But also, Sarah's still having the podcast in their Instagram bio, and Britney doesn't. So, a lot of people are saying that, you know, it comes across that Britney is just completely over this now and that Sarah has kind of been left behind and people just don't know if they're even living together anymore. And so, okay, I'm going to get to this. So someone said, new opportunity. Hmm, my opinion about it. I don't want to doubt Britney because I love her personality, but I can't imagine her doing anything long-term without a co-host. Her sense of humor can get old. I noticed from binge. So here we're seeing people now turning on Britney because Sarah's the one speaking up and people at least respect that Sarah's speaking up. So this is like the way the internet goes, where it's like with like tennis balls, like who's getting blamed? Um, I noticed from binge watching her on different podcasts and many of her TikToks, and for me, Sarah was the perfect half to that. Sarah's comedic timing and unexpected wittiness balances Britney's shtick and slapstick never heard that word before, humor. So I can't picture this being as successful, but I respect taking the chance. Someone said, that's interesting because I feel that way about Sarah, her humor getting old. I think they both balance each other out. Someone said, I kind of disagree. I adore them both, but I think that Britney has a lot more charisma and charm that really works well on its own. I think Sarah is hilarious and charismatic too, but in a different way. She's more withdrawn and I think, you know, she needs someone to bat off of. Britney's gonna have guests on her, you know, show every single time. So it'll be, you know, conversational. She's done celebrity interviews in the past that were great. And I always thought that about Britney. I think you could sit her in a room with anyone. And if you put a camera on her, she'll be able to direct the conversation in a really funny, natural way. And that's what I've always enjoyed about Britney. Someone said, I think they bounce off of each other really well and they balance each other out, which is the important thing. I kind of agree regarding her YouTube videos and TikToks, you know, the so random kind of humor that she does when she's trying to be funny, it gets old. But when she's being serious, she's actually very charismatic and I think that, you know, can hold a lot on her own. My concern about her new podcast is that, you know, her guests will be celebrities. How many celebrities outside of the ones she's friends with, like Trixie, Noah Cyrus, etc., will go on her podcast until it you know, catches traction and blows up. You know what I mean? Not diminishing her success by any means, but she's really not a proper celebrity yet. Yet is what I mean. I have a theory that that will soon change. She's just a famous TikToker influencer, and I don't mean any disrespect. I'm not sure how much pull she has. She says she wants it to be like Hot Ones. Someone else said, I think it's going to be hard for her to compete with Hot Ones in the chicken shop one, not that I watch either. The podcast was at least its own thing, even though everyone has a podcast. I'm afraid the medieval times gimmick will get old very quickly, but at the same time I love watching Britney so I'm also very optimistic. I also think she's a very responsible and you know responsive person that won't for, like force something if it's not working. 
Sarah and Kendall's podcast, I have no idea, but I'll try give it a shot. I'll watch both of them for a few episodes, uh, Brittany and Sarah, to see what they're both doing anymore. So, there's a lot of people kind of batting back and forth here, like, I prefer Brittany, I prefer Sarah, and all of this has kind of been allowed to happen just because the fans have been given enough information to kind of be told that there's a feud going on, and nothing is being addressed since that. But, the show today, we know that the meet and greet is now cancelled, so they're not doing that professionally together. They're literally just doing the show. And anyone who has meet and greet has now lost their ticket and has to buy a general admission on the day of the show. There's something shady going on here. That is not a contract with the studio. That is not a contract with the studio that you have to start cancelling your meet and greets and start doing all this. Maybe that you don't want to talk about it or maybe you don't want to hang out together or whatever. Muckers, I want to know your opinion. Please let me know down below. We'll talk about it. I appreciate you being here. My second channel's linked down below. We're doing Vlogmas every single day over there. I appreciate you being here, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Massy. I can't wait to see how this show unfolds. Hee <laughs> hee.